So, hey, I'm Mary. Nice to meet you. I wanted to make a video about my Erasmus in Poland, so here we go! We all make assumptions about traveling to foreign countries and having the great opportunity to study abroad with the Erasmus Plus program is not an exception. When I was told about this experience, I thought it was living a daydream. Meeting new people, partying, slightly studying, traveling, discovering. Anyway, what the transition from teenagehood into adulthood is all about, right? Yeah, it didn't really happen as expected. Where I should have been traveling to Germany or Spain to see my friends, this is where I traveled instead. Okay, Poland, um, Rybnik, Ibitum, on the Javian Shed Vadieshapian Road. Okay, found Rybnik at the south. Oh, there we are. And since I'm lazy, I just guess somewhere around here. 1.9 kilometers? Yeah, I'm okay with that. And about having friends, let's say mine weren't exactly close to home. I know, I didn't make a lot here because I'm just socially awkward. Don't mind me. Okay, back to the topic. My Erasmus was not what I expected at all. There were no big trips to other European countries, no real group of friends spending every single day with, and because of the pandemic, definitely too much work to crawl into. But do I regret it? Hell no. And should I stop showing stock images from everywhere but where I really went? Hell yes. Now, I still met some people, amazing ones, should I say, and I did have some time to at least visit some other cities in Poland. Therefore, I won't lie and say this was a 100% catastrophe. And since I already did a video about my first real trip in February 2021, I'm going to focus on what I've learned from this experience as a pending during a worldwide pandemic. Because Truth to be told, Poland is just a wonderful country, full of history, unfortunately often tragic, but beautiful landscape and architecture, and its people. Once you cracked into their shell of theirs, are very warm and welcoming. And I also have some distant relatives here. Besides, in my French architecture school, I knew my other choices of destinations such as Spain, Latin American countries, or even China, were going to be packed or abandoned due to COVID. So in September 2020, I said Czech to Warsaw. Okay, this is a little bit more tricky. For this, I'm going back to 2017, when in high school I received news from my applications to different French architecture schools, known as ENSA. I was accepted in two of the four schools I applied to, Rennes and Toulouse. At that time, I thought I was happier than ever. Even if my first choice was refusing me, I still had somewhere to go for the five next following years of my life. At least, that's what I thought. Architecture had always been my dream since I was seven or eight. I was fascinated by Japanese architecture and was also creating my own buildings for my toys. But my fascination was not a passion. I felt in the very first week of university that architecture was a big and terrifying world and that I needed to strengthen myself in order to survive this. So I did. I was holding my tears back, as well as my pride. Working from twilight until dawn, eating quickly and poorly to not waste any time, sleeping instead of partying with some friends, getting no motivation to do some sports or outside activities, and so on and so on. It was not healthy at all. So in my third year, when I had the opportunity to go away and with a little bit more thanks to the Erasmus Plus program, I thought, yes, that is exactly what I need to do. I knew if I wanted to keep surviving two years more in this field of study, I needed some kind of a break, while still improving my skills. But this is where things got dark. I never was the most sociable person at school. 
I guess I was feeling too different, even if we all are in the sense. So when someone was interested enough in me to be my friend, I thought I needed to do everything I could to keep them close. I was mainly turning my own feelings and personality off to fit in. And even if I found along the way some real friends who I can be myself with, I still do the same when it comes to meeting new people. And because of the pandemic, I never really had the chance to meet those people in order to feel at ease with at least a few of them. And for the few I did with, I still thought I needed to prove myself and be there way more for them than they were willing to do for me. So when you're alone in a room with nothing to do outside as everything's closed and no one to turn to when you want to get something out of your mind, you bury yourself into work. And as I mentioned before, this was not healthy at all for me. I broke. Twice. I love architecture, but I'm not passionate about it. Understanding it is amazing. Playing with every element you get in order to build something new is breathtaking, but it is not made for me. I am not made for it. And it hurts. Realizing that hurts. Even more when you knew it from the beginning, but decided to repress it to fulfill someone else's thoughts and expectations about you. I was lucky enough to find some truly wonderful people along my way, whether they were friends, family, students, teachers, or even just office workers. I want to thank you all deeply. Some may think that I'm just a quitter when things got too hard. Others will see me either as a realist or brave enough to decide this after four years of hard work. Truth is, I don't really care. I am not trying to befriend everyone anymore. I'm getting back in shape, learning new recipe every day, sleeping all night hours a night. I am just the way I am. Sometimes a loner, sometimes a weirdo, sometimes somebody who just needs a hug for a minute. But in the end, Poland made me get back on track on who I really am.